Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sharon and please consider subscribing for more amazing content. So in today's video, I'm basically going to show you guys how you can transfer your hairline to your mannequin head. So a lot of people tend to ask me this question on my channel, like how do you transfer your hairline? Because most times when I do videos on braided wigs and, um, you know, DIY crochet wigs, I always show you guys how I ventilate with my hairline on the mannequin head. So I get asked a lot how I transferred or customize my hairline on the mannequin head. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do today. So for me, there are two steps or two methods that you can use to customize your hairline on your mannequin head. I don't know if there are other methods, okay? These are the two methods that I know. The first one is very easy. The first one is very easy. But this can only be possible if you are working on yourself or the person or the client you're working on is with you. So this is very easy and very simple and I'm going to show you guys how you can do that one right now. So first you want to take it, um, a transparent nylon bag or just anything. You can use the lace or if you don't want to waste your lace, you can use a transparent nylon bag and your marker. So these are the only items you'll be needing for the first um, method so what you basically want to do is to wear the transparent nylon bag on your head i can see this one has a hole so i'm going to wear this on my head you can wear it on your head or wear it on the head of your client just so that you can see so the reason you want to use a transparent nylon bag is so you can see the hairline through the nylon bag so i'm going to show you how i do that right now so I'm just going to wear this on my head. So you want to be very careful because the nylon bag is already tearing as you can see. You want to be very careful. So now that I have this on my head, I'm just going to use my... Um, Mark how to outline my hairline on the nylon bag. Okay, so you want to use you want to use a permanent marker so that the outline doesn't clean off from the nylon. So I'm going to take this off now and then wear it on the mannequin head. So this is what we have and we can easily trace this out. From here you can easily trace this out. So I'm going to use my pins to hold it down. I'm going to use my pins to hold down the uh, nylon bag to the mannequin head. So now you have it. So you can either trace this out on the mannequin head or just basically leave it like this and work with it like this. That's why it's preferable to use a, a, a permanent marker so it doesn't clean off. I can see, I think this one is clean off because this is not a permanent marker. But if you use a permanent marker, it's not going to clean off and you can use it to like do whatever you want to do. So, or you can just transfer it to the mannequin head from here. So. If you use the, a permanent marker, this is going to stay on and it's not going to clean up. So you can work with this like this and it's even preferable so that you can customize as many hairline as you would want to customize on a mannequin head. So moving on to the second method, what you would need is you need your measuring tape. You need your measuring tape. You need your marker. You need the hairline you want to customize. So if you're customizing your hairline that's okay but if you're doing it for a client then you need to have the picture of the person's hairline just so you have like a guideline as to you know how or what you're working with okay 
so you can either do this with the client being with you or when the client is not with you so yeah i'm just basically going to show you how you can do that so if you're working on yourself or you're working on the client that is with you all you have to do is to first take the measurement of the person's head from ear to ear to get the length in between the ears in between both ears so i'm going to put the tape here and take it over to this side you can see that it measures 12 inches so i'm going to transfer that to the mannequin head so now so we're just going to measure 12 inches on the mannequin head okay so i pinned it on this side and from that side to this side measures 12 inches guys you'd also be needing another measurement another measurement tape okay so now that we have the length from this side to this side so the next thing this can be very tricky this can be very tricky okay you want to like work with the curve of the hairline you're trying to outline okay so i'm working with mine because i don't have a model here that i can use the person's hairline to show you guys what i'm doing so i'm just going to be working with my hairline so now that we have the curve the length sorry from here to here so if we are going with my curve you can see that from here to here i have like a straight line from here to here i have like a curve and from here to here i have like a curve inwards like my hairline i don't know i feel it's really weird <laughs> and from here to here we have another curve and from here to here we have a straight line so what you'll be doing is you're going to be taking the measurements of each curve okay so we're going to start with this one first and we'll measure from here to here from this point to this point so you can see so I already took the measurement from here to here and I'm just going to check to see what that is as two inches so it measured two inches from this point to this point and then we are going to also outline we're going to mark that two inches from we're going to mark two inches on the mannequin head so now i'm going to take a marker i just put a point at the two inches mark so next i'm going to take the measurement from this point to this second point here so mind you i'm just working with my hairline okay you want to just work with the hairline or the curve of the hairline that you're working with so i'm going to place that here and this is where the curve ended from this point to this point it's also where the curve ended and that's i think 2.5 so it measured 2.5 and we're also going to mark that out on the mannequin head we're going to be adding 2.5 to the two inches we measured before making it 4.5 so the next mark is going to be at 4.5 so next we are going to take a measurement from this point to the midpoint of our head because whatever we have on the side is what's definitely going to be on the side so we are going to stop at the midpoint okay so from here to the middle is going to be from this point to the middle and guys you want to be really careful you really want to be careful so that you get the measurement right so if you can see this is 1.5 that's um, one Point five. Yeah, so um, the reflection is really really bad but i just hope you can see it's at the 1.5 mark and that's what we're going to be marking on the mannequin head so if you are adding 1.5 to 4.5 that is going to be six inches so 
so the mark is going to be at the six inches point so you can see that's already half of the 12 inches that we already measured so now we're going to also measure 1.5 from here to here making it 7.5 and then from here from the 7.5 mark we are going to measure 2.5 which is equivalent to what we have on this side okay so 1.5 from here to here 1.5 from here to here then we are also going to have 2.5 from here to here because so whatever we have from the midpoint to from the midpoint to this side is definitely going to be the same thing from the midpoint to this other side okay so since from here to here is 1.5 it means that here to this point is also going to be 1.5 then since from this point to this point is 2.5 mean that we're also going to have 2.5 from here to here so if you add 2.5 to 7.5 that's going to be 10 okay yeah 10 inches and then we have just two inches left which is also the same thing as on this side from here to here um, two inches making 12 inches i hope you're getting what i'm explaining okay <laughs> i know it sounds complicating but if you settle down you're definitely going to understand so now what we just want to do is to like follow the curve now and mark it out on the mannequin head so from this point to this point is a straight line which is going to be like this then from this point to this point which is the 2.5 is a curve so we are going to do the curve now to the second point and then from here to the 1.5 is a deep curve <laughs> okay i don't know how to explain that but we can see the curve like a deep curve up and then we are going to also do that on this point and then that's also the same thing that's going to be here so from this side it's, it's like the curve is coming downwards then from this side to this side we have a curve as well and we are also going to do that like this and then the straight line yeah so you can see what we have now so from here to here was the two inches we marked from this point to this point was 2.5 inch and from here to here was 1.5 inch and remember anything you have here is also going to be what you have on this side as well so from here to here is also 1.5 inch from here to here is 2.5 inch and from here to here is 2 inches so i just basically followed a curve on my hair to curve it out and that's what i have here so if you're working on the client you also want to go with the curve on their hairline or the curve on your hairline if you are working on yourself now this this is exactly what my hairline looks like and when ventilating i can ventilate using this hairline guys so that's it okay i don't know if there are other methods but these are the methods that i know and these are the methods that i use so this second method can be used when the client is with you or you're working on your hairline and, uh, and when the client is not with you as well but when the client is, is not with you it's going to be a bit difficult because you can't really get the actual measurement but you can ask the client to do that for you and then you have the measurement you can ask them to do the measurement parts for you and then ask them to also send you a photo of what their hairline looks like so you can just find a way to like you know do everything and still get the hairline on the mannequin head so i hope this video is explanatory because i tried all i can to explain the best way that i could explain it to you guys okay i hope you find the video helpful and useful and i hope i have been able to help you guys so don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more amazing content give this video a thumbs up if you find the video helpful and leave a comment in the comment section below 
thanks for watching and bye